Hey everyone, so thank you for downloading the GDX VR plugin. I assume you're trying to set this up, you probably have already done that. So what you're gonna want is you wanna have the GDXR VR plugin in one of your folders unzipped. So you can actually see the content resources and the plugin itself. So the first thing we do is start with a brand new VR template. If you already have one built, you can actually drop this into it and you should be good to go. The only thing you'll have to change is your base engine I and I. So if you've made any changes to that, don't follow the copy and pasting of the base engine I and I that I'm gonna show you. I will have another video showing you how to manually set stuff up to get it to work so you don't have to redo everything you've done in project settings and wait for shaders to compile and all that kind of thing. Unfortunately, this was the only way I could get around doing it because certain project settings or project settings themselves don't transfer with plugins, but it was kind of necessary. So the first thing we're gonna do is set up a virtual reality template. So this is 5.1, and you'll be able to see when it loads that we're just in the default template map. So keep an eye on this wall and then this area here, because we'll be able to see the changes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our project folder. So we can right click on content file and show in Explorer. We're then gonna go to our project files. So we've got here, and we're gonna right click and we're gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call this plugins with a capital P. It is case sensitive, so make sure it's capital P plugins, and then open this up. And what we can do is we can close the editor and we can copy in our plugin. So we paste the plugin into our projects folder, and then we can go back and we could restart it. So if, you, if you're not gonna copy the base I and I, or if you've made changes to your project settings, don't follow this step, but if you haven't, what you need to do is go to plugins, GDX RVR plugin, resources, and copy this default engine.ini. So we're gonna copy, go back to our project files, and in config, we wanna paste this in. So this is gonna override what's already there, so we're gonna replace the file in the destination. And what this is adding is a custom collision channel to stop the player from bouncing around the, the space or the area when you interact with actors. So it's best to, if you can do this, it's just using the default VR template project settings, but go from there. Unless you've heavily modified what you've already got in your project, then I'd recommend not doing this. But if you can, definitely do it. So open up the plug, uh, plugin project settings, and you'll see as soon as it loads, it's gonna compile shaders now, because this is technically a new level. And we can see that by looking around, we can see on the right, we've got some pads that we can interact with, some actors, and we've got some text on the wall here. So once this is loaded, the shaders, I'll come back. Excellent, so we have our shaders loaded and we can see our player start has spawned higher up. And we have our two interaction points, the gravels and some text on the, the wall. So what we first wanna do is make sure we can see our plugin inside of our content browser. If you can't, it should be here on the left. You can go to the little cog with the settings, select show plugin content, and we'll now get this plugin folder. And in here, you'll see the GDXR VR plugin content. You can open this up, and this is all the content in this level. And you'll find that inside the VR template. We've got the blueprints, our maps. I'll go over more of these in different videos. But for now, while we're in here, what we wanna do is I wanna show you that you can right click this editor utility widget and you can launch this up. So run edit a utility widget. And if we make it full screen, it's gonna have a whole bunch of uh, tutorials, setups, documentation, that kind of thing. So if there's anything you wanna know, it'll be in here eventually. I'm gonna be slowly adding it per versions or per engine versions, that sounds a bit better. And we'll be going from there. Um, to get started with your character, if you want a different view mode, uh, a different movement mode. There's a couple of ways to do that, but the best is actually in our VR template. You still wanna make sure you're in your plugins folder. I'm gonna go to blueprints, and there's a file here called data. So if we open this up, you'll see that we have a character variables data asset. If you open this up, you can actually see that we've got a whole bunch of settings. So the idea here is that you can make it easier for you to change what your VR phone does or your base character. So the main one right now to show off is movement type. And I've added a few more. So we have a teleport option, a shift movement. So it'll move you from point A to B over time. 
a smooth locomotion so you can walk around, a smooth locomotion and teleport, and then also a flying option. So there's quite a big difference to the other template that I was working on before, as you can see. And there's a lot of these settings which aren't set up just yet. So kind of stick with the movement type and go from there. And in the next video, I'll show you how to use some of this other stuff once it's been implemented. But um, for setup, that's pretty much it. You just go to VR preview, start, and you'll be spawned in. And you'll have your movement options and you'll be able to go from there. So this is a good example, actually. So I've spawned in and we don't have interactions. So what's probably going on here is in our edit, if we go to project settings, we'll go to, we'll double check everything first. So maps and modes, we've got our default game mode, GDXR VR game mode, level templates, GDXR VR game instance, you want to make sure those are set. And probably what's happening is the enhanced input is probably not set up. So, yep. So if you go to all settings on the top of your project files and you search for enhanced input or enhanced, you'll see a setting here for mappable input config for XR. It's also located down here on the left under the plugins folder for OpenXR input. And you wanna change this to the GDXR version. So you can see here the PMI underscore GDXR VR template. Let's go to that. So that's it for setup if my level doesn't go all strange. So you should be able to actually use that now. And for anything with the character, you want to make sure that you're using the plugin folder content in here. So we got template blueprints, and then you've got access to everything through here, and it's all set up correctly to work for you from this plugins folder. Um, if you do struggle with getting mixed up with this, you could actually go to these files. You could right click and then set color, and you could set these to red so you know not to use these files when you're actually developing your own stuff. And that's it. So if you've got any questions or if you need any help with anything to set up, uh, make sure to head over to the Discord. You can do that by going to the plugin folder, right click on our editor utility widget. And on the bottom here, you've got a couple of options. So you can hit Discord and that'll automatically open up the website for you. So you can actually join if you're not already in there and go from there. But yeah, so I hope that helps and I look forward to seeing what you guys make with it. Bye.